Just in, CNN has suspended anchor Chris Cuomo indefinitely, the network citing new evidence from the New York State Attorney General that suggests, quote, a greater level of involvement in defending his brother, former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, from sexual harassment allegations. CNN says Chris Cuomo is suspended pending further evaluation. Tiger Woods is breaking his silence for the first time since he was nearly killed in an SUV accident and opening up about his future in the sport. Here's Miguel Almaguer. Tonight, Tiger Woods is back on his feet and on the golf course, but not yet ready for the game. It's hard to explain how difficult it has been uh, just to be immobile for you know, three months and just lay there and... In his first press conference after nearly losing his life in February, Wood says he hopes to play golf again, but will never be the same player he used to be. As far as playing at the tour level, I, I don't know when that's going to happen. We're talking about going out there playing against the world's best. I'm so far from that. Making his first public appearance in nine months, Woods detailed his grueling rehab. There were some really, really tough times and Pain got, got pretty great at times. And also revealed how close he came to losing his right leg. How realistic was amputation? Yeah, it was, on the, it was on the table. After multiple operations, surgeons stabilized Wood's leg with a rod and screws. While candid, the one thing Woods didn't want to talk about is what he remembered after his crash. Amid speculation, he was distracted or perhaps even on medication. The sheriff said speed was the reason for the accident. After slamming into a tree at 75 miles an hour, the 45-year-old spent three weeks in the hospital and three months in a bed. I feel I'm lucky to be alive. Eventually, I got to a point where they could wheelchair me outside safely and I could feel the sun. And that was like a, that was a milestone. Showing he is making progress, Wood says he's inspired by his late father and hopes to play alongside his son, perhaps charting a course for his greatest comeback yet.